These are the ambidextrous hands of Eero Saarinen, an artist, one of the 22,000 registered architects practicing in this country. So it's here at Cranbrook that Eero Saarinen really develops his voice as an architect and a designer. Initially, as a, as a teenager, his father is giving him small assignments. But boy, was he chomping at the bit <laughs> to just be released and design on his own. Here you have this young architect and General Motors comes to him and says, we want you to design what at that moment in time was the largest civilian project in the nation for the largest corporation in the world. We really had here an opportunity to create an environment. It was of all the buildings, all the landscaping, everything together. Here was the technical center for a great metal producing corporation that mass produces precision metal. Somehow the character of that should get into the architecture. These very stairways, it's like this one, is really a piece of sculpture in itself. We have to remember that architecture is not just here to give space and shelter for man, but architecture also has the purpose of marking and enhancing man's time on Earth. Of course, it lands him on the cover of Time magazine uh, and really launches this career that in one decade would see some of the most influential buildings in the United States and indeed the world being built. You think of what was designed by Aerosarn and during what was essentially a, a one decade period. The buildings themselves become logos for the corporations that built them. At the General Motors Technics, first of all, there's the Styling Dome, which is an architectural masterwork, also an amazing marketing strategy. You, know, you bring your clients, your audiences into this beautiful architectural space. The center of it is under a dome. The platform to that dome is rotating. You have one of your newest designs showcased in that space as it revolves, and everybody can look at every single detail of it. 